Hey everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to dive into my basket because oh my gosh, it has been already another week. And let me tell you, <laughs> I think your girl here is back to my full blown melting pace because it's only been a week and there's, there's a lot to talk about. <laughs> so, um, and it makes me really happy. It makes me really, really happy. Before we dive into the basket though, I will go ahead and address <laughs> the bar wall that so many of you guys have commented on saying, yay, the bar wall's back. I actually did post, um, um, on my Instagram as well, showing, um, sh showing it because I, it's, it's a work in progress. There's, there's a method to my madness here. Um, so this is actually a detached portable pegboard that you can obviously take with you to events or if you're just like me and you don't want to put holes in your walls. Um, my husband found this on Amazon and if I, if I can remember, I will go ahead and link it down below in the description because I've had a lot of people reach out and say, hey, where did you get that? That's perfect. Um, I, I love it. I honestly love it. It's so nice because behind this is the is the door and it's not super appealing to look at. And I honestly really enjoyed my bar wall that I've had for years in the old house. Um, like I said, the only thing that kept me from wanting it here was just because I didn't want to put big old holes in the walls. Um, but I've always really enjoyed it. I have also had a lot of people say, don't hang your bars. I've done it for years and I haven't had any issues with it. Um, there is kind of some things you have to keep in mind if you are going to be hanging your bars. Um, they do get juicy over time. Some of them get more juicy than others. You're not doing anything wrong. It's just... It's just something that happens. So if you are going to hang your bars, you do need to keep a close eye on them. If you see that they're starting to get juicy, take them off and either melt it, <laughs> either melt it or lay them flat. So um, I do rotate them regularly and I just keep a really close eye on them so I don't have any issues with, with that. Um, so if you are going to do that, just kind of keep an eye on it. Like I said, I've never had any issues and I've done this for years, so it's always been okay for me, so. I'm happy she's back though. <laughs> so um, like I said, I will link it down below in the description if it's something that you're interested in. It was something super easy that we picked up on Amazon. So awesome. Before we dive into the basket as well, I do have some oils to talk about. Oh my gosh, it has been a minute since I have remembered to talk about oils. And honestly, this is the first time I've been diffusing in the house. So it's awesome. I'm so happy to get back to diffusing. And each day that passes, it just feels like it's more and more homey, it's more and more us. So only three oils to talk about today. I, I didn't actually finish them, but I wanna talk about um, the fact that I was diffusing them. So just a good lavender. You can't go wrong with just a lavender oil when you are diffusing. It's so nice. For me, the, the scent of lavender is so comforting and I love this. And it's such a good authentic um, lavender scent that's just, it's it's perfect. It's absolute perfection. By the way, I did place my Mother's Day order, collection order. And so um, when those goodies come in, I will be doing like first sniffs with you guys when that stuff comes in. The lavender reminded me. Um, also, I was working through my coconut sugar, one of my favorite oils, so, so good. Love this one. It's just a good, like vanilla base but it has this really good coconut scent to it of course it's just oh man it's so good i wish that we could just package this up in a wax <laughs> so so good um next one is sea salt and grapefruit this one is just a really nice kind of subtle kind of spa kind kind of vibes here and i love it it's really nice and the grapefruit I feel like is so nice. Like I had this going, actually I had started diffusing this in the morning and it was just so nice. I really love it. It's just bright and fresh and clean and it's just, it's wonderful. So love, love, love that one. So those are the three, the three oils <laughs> that I was diffusing this week. Okay, um, I don't have the old uh, scent circle but I have a new scent circle in the truck and it is a Plumeria Peach. So I have this one going in the truck right now in my car, also known as the Red Diva, is uh, Snowberry. Yes, I know it's springtime, but I love Snowberry and it's I, it's like my signature car scent. I absolutely, it's I'm obsessed with it. So that's what's going in there. But in the truck is Plumeria Peach. So, so good. Um, okay, should we just dive right in? I guess we'll just dive right in. I was like, I usually like to leave the bars for last, but 
We'll, we'll leave the pods for last, I suppose. So I went through a bar of Make a Splash. Absolutely love this scent. You guys already know how I feel about this. It's perfection. Spring and summer perfection. I love it. It's a melon base, but if you can think of like an aquatic melon scent, that's what this is. And let me tell you, it is a powerhouse. If you are looking for a powerhouse, ding, 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 you found it here. Um, I am also going to be doing a scent strength series like I have done in the past. Um, I'll probably try to do that when the beginning of April. I'm gonna try to do that this, uh, this month because you'll see at the rate I am warming, <laughs> I should be able to give everything a try and give you my honest thoughts on the, the, the scent strength based on my opinions. So this one, definitely gonna make the powerhouse list though. So, so good, love it. So got through that. That one is one that always makes its way into my club every fall and winter season because this one, um, although it was a new release last year, it did discontinue for the fall and winter season. And I can understand why, um, but it did make its way into my club because it's, it's perfect. And if it ever like is discontinued, discontinued, I would be devastated. Plus the powerhouse, the, the powerhouse scents you have to just keep around. So if you're like me and you love powerhouse fragrances. Okay, an oldie but a goodie is Camu Camu. Love this one. She's not new, but it's okay. She's perfect. It's tropical and fruity and I love it. I love it. It's just, it, I don't know what camu fruit smells like, but I, I believe I'm a fan if it smells anything like this. It is so nice. If you like tropical fruity scents, highly recommend. So good. Okay, next one, actually warming right now in my house, <laughs> is Dumbo. You guys already know how I feel about the Dumbo fragrance. Um, it's actually kind of funny. So I wasn't really, I mean, I don't really plan for what I'm gonna be warming. It's just kind of like, when it's time to change out my wax, what do I feel like that day? Um, as you guys saw <laughs> from last week's pumpkin episode. Um, yeah, so it was funny. I was just chit chatting with a girlfriend in the morning and she was like, oh my gosh, I love Dumbo. You were so right. It's so good. It's my new favorite. And so we were talking, going back and forth a little bit about it. And I was like, okay, you're making me crave it. <laughs> I went ahead and popped two bars throughout the house. So good, I love it. And this one for me, it's it's very hit and miss for people. Some people think it smells like popcorn. Um, some people don't smell anything at all. Some people say that it's a powerhouse. Some people say a terrible performance. This one, this scent is really all across the board. Like it really does differ depending on the person. For me, this one doesn't last a crazy long time, but I'm okay with it. Like I have enough wax that I can get through. Um, I'm, I'm not worried about something that's gonna last like a week or anything, but um, when it is going, it's a good performer for me. So um, I love Dumbo, it's fantastic. And you guys already know, this is my number one um, licensed fragrance ever, of all time, ever. And probably my top five of like all fragrances. It's so good. I didn't even tell you what this smells like. <laughs> I just told you that some people think it smells like popcorn, some people smell, so it's all across the board with what people um, smell. And it's funny, because the reason why popcorn kind of sticks in my mind, or did somebody say peanuts? I think somebody said peanuts. And popcorn and or peanuts kind of makes sense to me because the name of it is Dumbo Circus Parade, so you're thinking like, circus. I, I don't get popcorn or peanuts. I get tropical fruits, I get, mangoes i get peaches i get it's so good it's like citrusy there's a vanilla finish to it it's tropical fruity and it's just it's so so fun i i love it this will be in my club forever so by the way dumbo is still currently available i believe let me double check Okay, yes, so the whole Dumbo collection is still currently available i wanted to make sure while i was recording this that like nothing crazy happened in the last few hours you just never know sometimes. But yes, so everything from the Dumbo collection is still currently available. So if you have not yet had a chance to give this a try, give it a try. It is so good. And if you are like me and you love this scent, add it to your club. Otherwise, I promise you, you are going to be kicking yourself later. This, don't let this be your first Scentsy heartbreak. Seriously, you guys. Um, in case you are new here, hello and welcome. You'll hear me talk about Scentsy Club all the dang time because it's an amazing program that Scentsy offers, which is in a subscription service 
like an auto um, an auto ship basically um, of all of our consumable products that come to you on a one two or three month basis it's totally customizable it's a free program there's all kinds of perks but my favorite perk is the always get my bar perk so always get my bar means that even when this scent retires so Dumbo Circus Parade is only available for a limited time right now when they decide to lock this back up in the Scentsy Vault Scentsy will continue to make this bar for whoever still has it in their club for as long as it's in your club. Even if I am the last person on earth who has this in their club, because you better believe this is never leaving my club, Scentsy is still going to make these bars for me for as long as it's in my club. I love this program. It's awesome because I would seriously be heartbroken and I would have to buy this, this scent by the truckload because I don't, I honestly don't ever want to be without it. I don't have to buy it by the truckload when I know that Sensi is going to continue to send it to me on an ongoing basis. So there's my spiel on Sensi Club because it's just, it's fantastic. Okay, next one. I got through a bar of Pacific Sandalwood. Love this one. This one was from um, the International Wax Collection, which was such a fun collection that Sensi had done. And this one was by far my favorite. It's so unique and so different. It's a vanilla base, but not like a bakery vanilla, kind of a perfumey vanilla. There's sandalwood in this, and it's like, there's like a musky note that's just so beautiful. If this was a perfume, I would douse myself in it every single day. It's gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. Um, also got through a bar of toasted marshmallow. It's been a minute since I have gotten through one of these bars. This one is in my club. This is very similar to Bath and Body Works Marshmallow Fireside because you get the sweetness of the marshmallow, you get the smoky elements from this and kind of woodsy notes, and it's so nice. I really love this one. So Toasted Marshmallow, it's great on its own. It's also a really great mixer. Here, I just went ahead and warmed it as is. Okay, let's talk about this one. I finally bit the bullet and I did it, you guys. So I warmed lemon drizzle cake from the Easter collection. This one was one that I was kind of dreading warming only because so many people, this this is very much a hit or a miss for people. Um, and some people are like picking up weird notes and on cold, I did, I was like, well, it kind of smells like lemon furniture polish kind of sort of situation. It did actually warm up better for me. I do like it better when it's warming. I will say right when it first started warming, like I liked it. And then after it was going for a little bit, there was a powdery, there was like kind of a baby powder note that did come out for a short period of time. And then it did, kind of, it mellowed out and then it was just like lemon bakery and then it futzed out. So it did go through quite the cycle of like when it was warming and went through different cycles and different phases as it was warming and releasing those top mid and base notes, which was super interesting um it was good i'm still debating on if it's going to go and i should say stay because i did add it to my club immediately before even like smelling this because i was like lemon drizzle cake sign me up um it does give me the same kind of vibes as lemon coconut chiffon which is why i kind of feel like i want to keep it in my club and then i can always remove it later i'm also thinking if i mix like clementine cupcake with this it'll give it like that extra little added boost i don't know i right now it's staying in my club i don't get any like i do get that like weird powdery note but it's for such a short period of time and then it kind of goes away and i do like it better when it's warming so there's that from the easter collection lemon drizzle cake okay moving right <laughs> moving right along um speak of the devil so cutie pie cupcake i have a few bars left of cutie pie cupcake i did decide to go ahead and warm this i was kind of savoring these bars because i did not add this one to my club when it was around for bring back my bar but now i've decided i actually like clementine cupcake even better than cutie pie cupcake they're both very similar in that they both smell like orange cake <laughs> orange cakey goodness um but i actually like clementine cupcake a little bit more so i decided you know what i'm going to warm through my cutie pie cupcake bars now so that is what i'm doing it just smells like a delicious orange cupcake so good 
Okay, next one. <laughs> Apparently I was on a citrus kick. Uh, tangerine creamsicle, so good. So, so, so good. It just smells like, I think I was just talking about this, wasn't I? I feel like I was just talking about this. Um, tangerine creamsicle is just that. It does smell like that orange, um, orange, it does smell like that orange creamsicle but better because this tangerine is a more authentic like tangerine note but then you do have the sweet goodness of that like vanilla ice cream that's in this that is just absolute it's it's perfect i love it so tangerine creamsicle got through one of my bars of that one the scent of the month for this month i am obsessed <laughs> i am obsessed with this month's scent of the month and it is ruby nectarine talk about powerhouse this one is a powerhouse i love it have you had a chance to try it yet let me know in the comments it's so good it's so good it's nectarine peach it's so good it's juicy it's sweet it's fresh it's fruity i i just i love this so very much and like i said it's strong it is it's a strong one you're gonna warm this and you're gonna know that it is going. So love that one. That is, so this is the April scent of the month, which means it is available for a discount. So this, um, the both the warmer and the scent of the month available in the bar, room spray, and um, scent circle are available for 10% off. So um, you can still bundle these. So if you're gonna be doing a bundle of bars, you can either do, so they're $6 regularly each, that's US pricing, or you can do three bars for $17, or the best deal is actually six bars for 30, which winds up being buy five, get the six for free. But you do have to go to the specials tab and go under bundle and save and then that's where you can bundle your bars so you can bundle them with with this with this one here um with some other bars as well if you would like to okay what else did we get through also from the easter collection so now i have officially gone through the entire easter collection raspberry lollipop so so good um this one was pretty light though I, I could smell it for like half the day and then I was like, all right, on to the next. So I really, I this didn't last a long time um, at all, but when it was going, it was nice. Is it club worthy? Uh, no, I just, I need a, while I'm sitting here saying, I've got enough wax to get through, I, I want my wax to last at least a full day. So this one, like I said, it was nice, but I just feel like I'd probably reach for some other things before I would reach for this one in my collection. One thing that I would definitely reach for, and I do reach for, is pink sugarberry mint. You guys know I love, love, love this. It's one of my absolute favorite scents. And this one just smells like pink cotton candy. It is wonderful. It is delicious. It is sweet. And it is perfect. And it is a great performer as well. So pink sugarberry mint. And don't let the mint fool you, you guys. I am not one who loves minty fragrances. I'm very picky when it comes to mint. I pick up no mint in this one whatsoever. Um, it just smells like pink cotton candy. It's good. Give it a try. Let me know. Okay. I also got, oh yeah, this is one I want to talk about. Paradise Petals. This one is a new release this spring and summer season. It's kind of a womp for me, you guys. Um, this one was a one dayer and this one was going in our bedroom. So I typically will put scents in our bedroom that I don't expect to last or be very strong because I want to like get the most out of it. Um, I really couldn't smell a whole lot of it. I could smell the floral, like when it was going, that floral really does come out. Like, but it's it's hard to say, because I'm like, it really does come out, but it's it's really light for me. I could smell a little bit of the floral when I was like right next to the warmer, but like when I walk in, like it's not room filling. That's what I should say. It's not a room filling fragrance. Um, and our bedroom isn't like ginormous or anything. It's pretty standard size, but I could only smell this when it was going like when I was right next to the warmer. So paradise petals, a little bit lighter, but I think if you like lighter florals, then you may really like this. Florals are a tough one. I feel like they're overdone very easily and can be like, headache inducing and things like that so hey if if you like florals but you're a little bit sensitive this one might be a winner for you okay next bar i got through was by the sea i told you guys and i still have more <laughs> i still have more i was getting through by the sea this one was going um in our bedroom and our bathroom and it's so nice this one and this is actually a really really great performer um you would think by the sea it's gonna smell like water what is 
what does water even smell like and why is that gonna be a great performer this is a great performer you guys if you like fresh clean scents but no, don't necessarily want something that smells like laundry but you want something fresh and clean this is your ultimate like aquatic scent it really does smell beachy and almost like you can smell that like sea salt air like it's really really nice it's definitely i think beachy aquatic is a good way to uh describe this one and it is really good it's a great performer as well so by the sea i love it okay next one coco lime i love coco lime this is another one of my absolute favorites and this is a wonderful lime scent ah it's so good it's so good they Scentsy does a lime scent so, so well. It doesn't smell artificial. It smells zingy and citrusy and wonderful and vibrant. And then you have the sweetness of the coconut that comes in that just kind of like calms it just a little bit, but it is so good. And also powerhouse, absolute powerhouse. Love it, Coco Lime. Um, okay. Oh, look, I got through another bar of raspberry lollipop. So kind of a womp, but that's okay. We got through it. Okay, two more bars to talk about, and then we're going to talk about some pods. Um, a bar of graduation. I love graduation. Uh, since he had done a collection, the moment by moment, right? Yeah, moment by moment wax collection, which was so, super fun. Um, I thought this was such a good idea to do. So they had a wax that represented each, like, milestone in your life having a baby buying a home graduation things like that and graduation was by far my favorite scent from that wax collection it's in my club it'll stay there forever oh, it's so good this scent is so unique and so different and that's kind of one of the like things that i go by when it comes to adding bars into my scentsy club is is there anything quite like this or do i just love it so much that like i have to have it but typically I'm like there's nothing else like this like scentsy doesn't do another scent quite like this so i need to have it in my life and this one i've never smelt anything like it it's so good there is is this fruit i guess this would be fruity it's got a vanilla finish though and it's it's a deep earthy fruity i think would we call it that and there's like a musky element to it i'm not making this sound very good it's so good <laughs> it is so so good it's a great performer as well so love that one also i warmed it when we were in vegas so now when i smell it it takes me to vegas and i am a fan of that so really really good um i always like to do that whenever we go on vacation i always like to try to like try out a new scent so that way when I smell that scent later, it kind of triggers that scent memory. Something kind of fun that I like to do, but graduation got through that bar. Okay, you guys, I am so excited to share this one with you. So I went through a bar of Aloha Citrus. Okay, so you're probably like, what's, what's the big deal? I used to, I don't wanna say hate this bar. I used to be very, very disappointed in this bar because I could not smell this in our old house. Something that I'm doing here in the new house is trying out the scents that I thought were flops before. Um, I tried out Go Go Mango again. I have some bars that are coming to me that used to be kind of mm, meh, like not super great for me in the old house, but this one was definitely one of them. I could not smell it. Like I couldn't even smell it. Like I, I couldn't smell it. For whatever reason, here in this new house, we have a one story now versus a two story. We have hardwoods here versus carpet. So I don't know if that has something to do with it. I'm convinced it does. It's also a different layout. I could smell this. Was it a powerhouse? Absolutely not, but I could actually smell it. So I will absolutely take that as a win. And Sean actually smelled it. He was like, wow, that smells really good. I'm like, yeah, it does, huh? Um, not a powerhouse by any stretch of the imagination. I would still call this light. I would consider this a light performer. However, I could smell it. I could smell it. <laughs> I was like, I will take that as a win. So Aloha Citrus is just a really pretty, like florally citrus scent. Apparently I was in the mood for citrus scents this week. Um, really pretty, like florally citrus, really nice. Okay, let's talk about some pods. So um, there's a few empty ones in here because we were still like unpacking some stuff. 
Um, and so that's why I've got just like one random one that's just empty. And that is Magnolia Linen. I have this one going in our wall fan diffuser in our laundry room and it is beautiful. And this one's really strong. Like this one actually like wafts out into like the front area and it's really nice. Ah, it's such a beautiful floral laundry scent. It's just, I love it. So, so good. Okay, I also took out my squeeze the day pods and replaced them with sugared strawberry. So good, there's no scent left in this whatsoever. Um, the pods will typically last, uh, I think it's 120 hours is what Scentsy says. They last longer than that. I'll usually get like a full like, oh, I get oh, like over a week's use out of these. Now it does depend on the scent. I actually have honeymoon hideaway going in my air purifier and i think i got a little bit on day one and i really haven't gotten anything so i'm still letting it go because i'm like well maybe maybe i don't know it'll get a second wind or something <laughs> i don't know i'm i don't know what i'm hoping for but for the most part you can get pretty well like a week worth of use out of out of these guys so Okay, so the next pods I have here. So I swapped out my pink sugar berry mint. So, so good in the pods. I am so happy that not only did they bring pink sugar berry mint back because this was a scent of the month, um, they brought it back, but they also brought it in the pods. I'm here for it. Ah, so good. Um, so all done with those and replaced it with, again, sugared strawberry. So have that going. Um, also, we have, I took, okay, these didn't, <sighs> Aloe water and cucumber. I finished up with these. This probably lasted right around like 120 hours, probably, or like right around there. I got some decent use out of it, but um, not like the typical usage is from what I normally get out of pods. But I replaced aloe water and cucumber with Bonfire Beach, and Bonfire Beach is going great. Okay, and then this this is the one that's kind of a flop, but um, also replaced Lemon Drizzle Cake. That's also from the Easter collection. Replaced it with Honeymoon Hideaway, which is what I was just telling you about. This I will be changing out this upcoming week for sure because I, I just don't see that it's, I don't think it's going to get a second one, but I really, I was hoping for a little bit more. Woo, you guys, we got through some stuff this week. Like I was telling you, I am back to melting at my usual rowberry pace. <laughs> so let me know down below in the comments, what have you been warming? What have you been getting through? Are you doing some mixing? Let me know, I must, must know. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate the love and support so very much. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content. If you're new, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, be sure to hit the notification bell. That way you stay up to date with all things Scentsy. All right, you guys have an amazing weekend. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.